Hi guys, it's JJ here. Happy Tuesday. Yes, I've got another thought for you guys. <laughs> uh, as I work with my clients, um, I'm always uh, getting ideas of insights that I like to share with you guys. So I trust that those that are watching, if you're watching, give me a love heart and say hi. Uh, but I trust that uh, you found some of my other videos valuable. My purpose is to share any insights that I've had with my clients or uh, just in life in general that I can share that I think could be valuable for people. So you might have already seen the title, Jack of All Trades and Master of None. That was a really big lesson for me when I first started my business and I know I work with a lot of coaches so coaches one thing they have in common good coaches is that they go into it to help people and a lot of coaches that I meet have big hearts and they're servers. They want to serve people. They want to make a difference. They, they're always looking for the bigger purpose, you know. They're, they really want to make a positive difference in the world. And that's so beautiful. But what can happen is, particularly if this coach has got lots of, lots of skills in regards to coaching, uh, they may have diverse skills that they could coach a lot of different people. So they could coach, uh, you know, they could coach ch kids, they could coach relationships, uh, they could coach corporate, all that, those sorts of things that they can do. Uh, and I find that when I have clients come to me, often they've got diverse skills and even diverse interests in what they want to do in their business. So this can be great, but it can also mean that you're spreading yourself too thin and you're not really focusing on that one thing and building that one thing and getting that momentum. I just worked out today <laughs> that it's been 18 years since I first had my own business. So uh, I, my first business was called People Potential. And it was a training and recruitment business. And the interesting thing was, I had that same challenge. I had the challenge of, freaking hell, what? I had all these different skills. So I'd learnt about, you know, I've, I was in sales for many, many years um, in a leadership role. So I could train sales training. I could do coaching for relationships. I could do behavioural profiling. I could do uh, corporate training. I could do, I could do courses in time management. I could. There's so many things and so many directions that I could go. Now, initially, I thought this is going to be fantastic because I can just go wherever the flow is, right? But the challenge was, I didn't wasn't getting momentum initially because I was, I was not building that one thing. Uh, if, any, if anyone's watching, please make sure you put, give me a love heart and know that you're there or put a little comment, that would be great. So there's a saying, there's a quote, and it's from Japanese organizational theorist, Kenichi Ome, and he says, and I love this, rowing harder doesn't help if the boat is headed in the wrong direction. So I'll say that again, rowing harder doesn't help if the boat is headed in the wrong direction. Now I remember 18 years ago when I started People Potential, the one thing I kept saying over and over and over again, and I kept saying it to my husband, I kept saying to Rocky, if I knew which direction to go, and the steps I needed to take, I know I'll be successful if I knew that direction because I felt like I was going in all different directions. 
one minute I'm going over this direction and I'm doing some relationship coaching. The next minute I'm over this direction and I'm doing the recruitment. You know, I was all over the shop. Uh, And even though it kept me afloat and I got some good sales out of it, it was freaking exhausting. And I wasn't really being known as that person that did that thing, you know. So it's so important when you've got your business that you really have, and and I think it's fine to diversify, but once you have that one thing that you know that is solid, right, it's your bread and butter. In retail, that's what we used to call uh, our main products is the bread and butter products. You know, I, was a, I was at Just Jeans for many, many years. I was there for 10 years. And you know, we had bread and butter products. Our jeans, of course. And also our belts and our socks. Our belts and our socks were top sellers because we would sell them with the jeans, right? So we had our bread and butter products. And so that's what we need to think about in our own business. What is our bread and butter product? What is the product or the service that puts food on your table or potentially puts that food on your table that you can really build, that you're known for? Uh, So I think that's really important for us to to know what that is and to keep building it. Uh, As I said, we can be the jack of all trades. We can dip and dive and and spend all our energy on variety. But we need to make sure that we're building at least that one thing and giving it a real crack. Because I think one thing that I've noticed when I first started working with clients that were having challenges, that they were diversifying too soon and they weren't giving things a good shot. So they would say stuff like this. They would say, "Uh, oh yeah, I I had one event, Uh, because I might say, you know, instead of one to one, start to go one to many, because you're helping more people, it's less time for you uh, and you're returning investments better, right? Uh, and so I might say, have you looked into doing some workshops? And they might say, yeah, I did one workshop. Or I, uh, yeah, I did a workshop last year uh, and one person showed up and they didn't buy from me. And then, I'll, and then so, th- so workshops don't work for me. And I'll say, so how many of those workshops did you have? Oh, just the one. So they've made an assumption on one workshop that it's not for them because one workshop didn't work. And then they quickly did something else. And so they didn't give it a good crack. They didn't look at it. And there could be so many reasons why that workshop didn't work. So it could be, say if they had uh, social media advertising, maybe the social media advertising wasn't right, maybe the ad wasn't right, maybe the picture wasn't right, maybe the company that was doing the marketing for them wasn't right. Uh, Maybe they didn't get back to the people and keep them warm. Um, so that they made sure that they were coming to the event. Maybe at the event your pitch wasn't right. Like there's so many reasons why it may not have worked. And sometimes it could be one little tweak that you can make that makes it work. So it's really important for us to, to know that we've got to give things a good shot before giving up on them. And that we've got to make sure that we're focused on our bread and butter. And we go, okay, let's give this a shot. I want this to be my bread and butter. I'm going to put everything in on this. I'm going to make sure that I upskill myself, that I spend the majority of my time building this part of my business. 
and give it a good crack. You know, of course, there's that, that line where you say, okay, it's not working, but, but give it a good crack, right? But the, the, the one thing I would say is I wish I had me 18 years ago. So what I'm trying to say is I wish that I got a coach 18 years ago to help me because it would have helped me so much in regards to helping me define and get clarity around the direction that I wanted to go. <laughs> because as that quote says, you can be rowing, rowing, rowing. You can be freaking exhausted rowing in that direction that you want to go. And you're rowing your little heart out, sweat and tears, and you're starving, and you just keep going, and you're persistent, and you're you're confident, and you keep going until you're freaking exhausted because you're not getting the results. Only to not even maybe realise that the direction that you're going in is the wrong one. So I trust that that's helpful, guys, because as I said, 18 years ago, one of the things that I kept saying to myself is if I knew what the direction was and I, and I had that clarity, it would be so much easier because then I would just keep going that direction instead of exhausting myself, dabbling in every other direction. And coaches, you will know it. You guys are in training and doing training programs and all that sort of stuff. Have a look at all the stuff that you've developed <laughs> uh, that maybe you've used once. That will be a really you know, big sign for you because that means you're, ch you're changing, swapping and changing all the time and you're trying to reinvent the wheel all the time and that takes so much time and it can be exhausting, right? So my thought is for you guys to, to just remember that your bread and what, what your bread and butter product is or your service is and ensure if, if you haven't got a coach, get a coach or a mentor. Get somebody that is going to help you with the clarity that you need. If you're not getting that momentum, then you need someone to help you do that. Uh, so I trust that that's been helpful, guys. Uh, those that, if you're watching the repeat of the recording, please make sure you put your insights in. Um, that would be fabulous because I'd love to know what your thoughts are and how you do that. And if you've already diversified, when, what was the decision for you to actually say, okay, now I've done my bread and butter product. I'm, I'm confident with that. When was the line when you said, okay, now I can start developing that next thing? Uh, because often when I get clients come to me, I've got to reel them in. That's the first thing I do because they're wanting to do lots of stuff, right? Uh, so I reel them in and we have some really clear focuses. So any insights I would love to know, guys. Um, I trust that that's been valuable. Share it to anyone that you think needs to hear this. Um, it's a beautiful day here in Geelong today. A little bit windy, as you might be hearing, possibly. Um, I always come down to see the dogs. <laughs> um, I miss our little dog so much so uh, yeah I'm still on the in the process of trying to convince the family that we're ready for one so <laughs> um, we're gonna get there we're gonna get there so thank you guys have an awesome one and uh, yeah any insights I would love you to pop in the chat box thanks guys